everyone dies and come back. <laughs> I die a little in on a, a little bit on the inside and I always end up coming back in pieces, but I come back. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. <laughs> so I'm sure you've noticed there's something different. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to be a part of Harfest, so I dressed up <laughs> for Harfest. <laughs> I wanted to be in the festive mood for this episode, so um, I, I'm i wearing my uh, toothless Kigurumi, <laughs> and I am just really excited to see what Harfest is about and then um, see if things actually go down at Harfest. I really want things to go down as at, at Harfest, <laughs> but for ease of playing, I am not going to be wearing these, so I will have my hands out. <laughs> It is incredibly hard to like do anything with those uh with with these on. It's it's literally just a pocket. Like there's no fingers. It's just a pocket that I put my hand in. <laughs> but I am going to be free-handed for this uh for the playthrough obviously. And if you are in costume watching this, then I hope you can enjoy Harfest along with us. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, May. Let's see what we got. Anybody? Ooh, nobody. Okay. All right. See you later, Sharkle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I love Sharkle. All right, May. Let's go. Ooh, spooky, scary. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, is there anything in the basement? I wonder. Ooh, surprisingly, there's nothing. Okay. I just want to make sure you, you never know spooky scary grandpa could be appearing on Harfest. <laughs> he could be manifested somehow. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, let me. Oh, interesting. I can't jump. All right. Okay. Very interesting. The game doesn't want me to go over there. And the house is eerily empty, too. Hello? Yeah, the house is eerily empty. Hmm. They must already be out. I'm sure they're out. Ooh, Harfest. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, town center. Ooh. Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh, ooh, splash him fortune. Oh, let's let's take a fortune. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh, snap. I I is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Oh, oh my god, um, um. One, two, one, 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 one. <laughs> Give me the five! Give me a five! Five! Yes! Yes, five! Okay, that's what I wanted. Let's go, five, baby! Spin, spin, spin away! You, you... Oh, your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall see many things. There are times for running away, and times for standing your ground, and you shall sometimes know only in hindsight. Right. That's it. That's not mystical. That's just like a fortune cookie. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. All right, okay. Thank you, Fortune. All right, let's splash him. Let's go. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? 
Right. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what you know what to do. Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's you! Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, um... Ah, okay, I, I kinda got... Did I get you? Hey, let's go! Woo, you hit the spooky ghost! Woo, spooky spooky! <laughs> I suck at this. Hey, I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit! Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. There we go. Oh no! You've hit the witch! The evil witch! Oh no! I'm just gonna keep on... There he goes. Ah, which way will I go next? Ooh, spooky scary. I suck at this. Oh my god. This is harder than it looks. Ouch, I'm gonna hex you up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spam you. Be gone, witch. Ah! I totally hit you. Oh my god. Okay, why are you, okay. Oops, I'm the pumpkin! You hit me the pumpkin, you got me the pumpkin, what? <laughs> Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin! I'm freezing now, the pumpkin is freezing! Oh no, I'm going away now, I'm the pumpkin! Oh, oh, hello Mr. Skeleton Man. Oh, you are fast, Skeleton Man. Why are you so fast? Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton, oh boy. Oh, come on, that was so hit. Well, it's not my fault your head is weirdly shaped and I can't hit you. Clack, 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 you hit my bones. Oh. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of Possum Screens, Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our heuristic home, or historic home, Possum Springs more... L Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs? Right. Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. That was fun, okay. Why is no one dressed up though? Hello? Hey, hey! Oh man, uh, yeah, she's not dressed up or having fun. What's she up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please? It, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. <laughs> I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the, in the past two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? So it's like fake history now? <laughs> it's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Right, I wanted to explore more. I didn't mean this to be an interaction thing? Oh well.
Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear? The tale of how Possum Springs came to be. <laughs> <laughs> Through the mists of time I see. Weary fur trappers from nineteen or er, from seventeen ninety-three. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with uh which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels in carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. O oh, travelers, hope an extremely old woman. Spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. <laughs> Ho, oh, travelers, hope an extremely old woman. Uh, please help. What? I must have food to restore my youthful form for once I was a comely lass. Oh no, I am made of cobwebs from being so old. Okay, I, I must have food to restore my youthful form for once I was a comely lass. Comely lass. <laughs> Okay. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. I shall curse ye and thee. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. <laughs> I shall curse ye and thee. And this very night ye shall perish. <laughs> I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky. Oh man, what is this next part? Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, that's Greg! Uh, um... Uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir! I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwones? What? Greg, what? <laughs> we camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lieth, lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> I did curse this spring. A curse upon rude men. I did curse this spring. That any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, <laughs> uh, I am slain. I join thee now, brother Stephen. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. <laughs> mm. 
This is a very uh, bland play. play. Very, very, very bland performance. <laughs> Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to you never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? No. All right, man, you, you got this. Uh, um, crap. Uh, four. For each man is determined on his path. Uh, for each man is determined on his path. And each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet, each path may lead to places unknown. You. From the bus station. Young witch. Oh, it is him from the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just... I just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way? So... Which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night, through the stranger places. Oh God, how did you know? I what? <laughs> oh God, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end, at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. Okay. Uh. This is your line. How do you know so much about me? Forest God, thou hast no power here. Forest God, thou hast no power here. <laughs> Even now, thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> Take care. All right, bye-bye, God. <laughs> Okay, interesting. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pup pumpkins. Please to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here. For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support our ear spooky local businesses. Ooh, spooky. Well, B did her best. It's not bad. Everything went actually well. It could have been disastrous, and it wasn't. <laughs> Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a... Uh, date thing Ooh, okay i see horror movies and um chill <laughs> that's what greg is gonna do <laughs> oh what are you doing b chamber of commerce chamber of commerce folks are going to the buffet out by ham panther 
Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. I am. I'm sure you do. But you're you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay. Well. Good night. Night. Not so being an adult is, uh, May. This is garbage. Kind of wish I explored the rest now. I'm mad. <laughs> That's fine. We get a even more spooky atmosphere. Hello? What the? Yeah, May. Um, d did you not just see what happened? Oh my God. Hey, anyone? Shit. I called it. I knew something was gonna go down during Hardfest. I called it. <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit. Yeah, um, May? The fact that I can't jump is alarming. I don't like this. Hi, um. So I noticed you guys can't, couldn't see that. Um, it was just him standing there in the corner, just just holding the body. That's it. So um, yeah, that was in in interesting. <laughs> May, go home. There's a guy up there on, on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A oh, ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here, doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. <clears throat> um, um, cop. What is going on? Wait, wait, why am I here? What is this? Was I forcefully taken home? Am I in a coma? Did the cop pepper spray me and I knocked out or something? Like what, what happened? What is going on? Why can't I jump? <laughs> um. So you can pretend that never happened. Okay. Okay. All right. Part three, the long fall. <laughs> so. Oh, the music changed. Um, May wake up. Right, okay, what's in our book? Yes, creepy ghost guy. That's exactly what we saw. Yep. Ooh, Harfest. Ooh, Halloween. <laughs> I feel upset though that I, I didn't explore the rest of the Harfest section. Before going into the pickaxe, I didn't think going in, into the pickaxe would trigger, or I would have a choice before to like interact with things in, in the pickaxe. Oh, well. Hey, mate. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cl cl cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Ooh, Greg. Hey, dude. Sorry. I, I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice today, ya uh, Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. All right, thank you, Greg. And see you later, Sharkle. Bye. <laughs> All right then, um, my ma, papa. I can jump again, so that's cool. 
Okay, I can interact with things. Yes. Why is the music slightly different? Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Um. Hey, mom. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to, uh, seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that. Uh, sometimes a rainy and drizzly day is, is, is actually kind of nice, just to help you chill and relax. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you mean it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. What happened a few, a few years ago? I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Yeah, no, school will never be a topic to talk about, ever. So just drop that, Mom. <laughs> she will never talk about school. Alrighty. Still closed. Okay. Oh, wait, because it's all gloomy and rainy, no telescope, man? I wanted to see more constellation means. Whee! Oh, yay! Telescope man! Let's go! Whee! Oh, wait. <laughs> eh. There we go. There we go. Whee! Hello, telescope man. Miss May Borowski. Present. Mmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, and hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Come, have a look. Our eyes are gonna burn. Three, two... Ah, I'm blind! <laughs> God. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Look, sir. Ooh, already finding one. Right? Wait, no, no, we already... There we go. There we go, yeah. I found one. Let's see. Ooh. Big snake. <laughs> Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same. Big snake. And they came together, and together slew the Big Snake. <laughs> you learn. Why did Big Snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the Big Snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying Big Snake? <laughs> Big Snake. Big Snake. Big Snake. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. All right. Oh, there goes the other constellations that we found. Any more? Okay, I feel like this will be our last in interaction because we're, we're, we're about to fill up this whole area. I feel. Ah. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Ooh. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. 
Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. <laughs> How did- wait, what? <laughs> that's just called being alive, sir? Everyone dies and come back. <laughs> I die a little in on a, a little bit on the inside and I always end up coming back in pieces, but I come back <laughs> Not so his body was dead So he was like a zombie But just as smart as before No looking for brains So like normal, but he smelled bad Just so Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chasikov. <laughs> willikers. Wow, that was a pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? Sure. Okay, so, so there is more. We got Snake and Gramercy. All right, interesting. Wait, what? What is that? Uh... Okay, then. I'm not sure what that drawing is referring to. Maybe from what we saw last night? I don't know. Hey! Something in my eye. Okay. That's the things I don't miss with wigs. The, the hair fibers getting in your eye. That is the one thing I don't miss. <laughs> At all. Alright, that should be better. Jeez. We anything in the post. A man spooky odyssey. Da 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 da. Firewood for sale. Casey's still missing. We still got the ball. Oh, okay. So I can't move the possum springs thing. Interesting. Sometimes I wish I could just like take the ball with me. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's go in Z tunnel. Oh, and, and I need to feed my kids, my babies. Can't forget my babies. The fisherman guy is gone still, okay. Oh, yes. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. This is unfairly easy now. It is very easy, actually. And hello, Grandmama. More stories about Grandpapa. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones wherever I, wherever I go. So no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh, yes. Where was I? Something about a tide rolling out? Mm. Where was she, actually? I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I guess troublemakers in my family. Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us... Brought us together in bits and bobs the old smokies the grand bears the lodge of old the church and the union there'd be tenses up at the hb that's where i met your granddad oh a lifetime ago what was he like back then plain in most respects prone to fits of melancholy but funny and wild when the occasion called. 
surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What'd your daddy say about him? Strict but nice? Distant but trying? Uh, strict but nice? <laughs> strict is funny. Why? All right, no more story. You, you all right, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel... Hope you feel better? Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Oh, okay. She's just so old, man. At least she's giving us some story about Grandpapa. That's cool. Hello, dudes. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but... Is a a a anyone missing? What? Like... Anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Right. Okay, then bye. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna know about this. 100%. We're the only ones that saw it, and then we're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're going to look like a crazy person. <laughs> going around asking people like, hey. Oh my god, yeah, they, they boarded this. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Oh, the pizza place is gone. Like, gone, gone. Ooh, Angus, are you here? Hello, Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess, weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. All right, okay, cool. Whee! <laughs> All right, anything else before we meet up with others? So today is my last day. Oh, it's finally her last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all want to go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in and, and, and we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee, cigarette. <laughs> Coffee and cigarettes. Oh, wow. Okay, she finally left that job. That's crazy. Alrighty then. Wee. Wait. No, the babies are this way. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why does this look wrong? Wee. All right. Oh, our buddy is up there. Um, let me feed the babies and then we'll check check her out. See what's up with her. Hello, my babies. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Oh, there's more. There is more. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me and anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? Probably not me. I love you, Miracle Rats. Oh, that's sweet. They love you too, me. Hello, hello. Did you go to Heart Fest? Yeah, I uh, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Uh. 
Blood Gorgon? <laughs> Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical. And stuff. Girls boarding school. A bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. T uh, taking them to the... To the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. All right, bye. Ah, yes. <laughs> the same old skull, of course. All right, let's go ahead and see what B is up to. Whee! Oh, hello, dude. Okay, yeah, I wanted to go back here just in case um, to see if there was something. Hello, what happened? Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grillman and a janitor. Wow, okay, so you were grillman and janitor. So you left uh, probably a better job for this one. <laughs> I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Like, that's, th this sounds worse than working at B's place. All right, food donkey's closed. Oh, hello. Hey. Sup, kid? Sniff, sniff. What do you mean, sniff, sniff? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? You'll never half catch me, half coppa. <laughs> right. Um, I'm very sus of you already. I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Don't know. We're not like good friends or 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 anything. Oh yeah, and I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you, you, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. <laughs> not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Da, 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 da. <laughs> totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever. I gotta get going. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh, <laughs> I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road waiting for me to come down oh my god holy shit <laughs> yeah holy shit what did you do after it got dark i climbed down and got up the hill real quick 
Ah. Uh, yeah, it was a weird bad time. Right, okay. I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Okay, then. Right. Interesting, okay. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap, like, a kid. What were you doing out here last night? <laughs> no, I saw someone kidnap a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right. Thank you, May. Uh, I knew y you were just going to brush this off. May, there's no... there's There's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting. This, this right here, this is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. She has a point, though. Logically, she has a point. Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. Uh... Because they were kind of, like, in the background. They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, ma'am. This fence goes out along the parking lots. Almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them. And then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Ugh. I was running around half the night. Getting after teenage bullshit. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I... You... You... Ah! Uh, are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghosts. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry. We're talking about ghosts now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No! Yes! I don't know! I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning. Because of what you saw- because of- because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on- on a cross mattress. Or on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer. And one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Okay, wishing your aunt to die though, May, that's a little much, because what if she actually does die? Then you're gonna be like, oh my god, I said that she that that the cop always dies and she died. Like you don't want that on yourself, May. You don't. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Selmers. I almost forgot about Selmers. I talked to Selmers. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween... Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Well, yep. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn crime? Yeah, what counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank. Oh my god. In November. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. 
Yes, Selma. You, you're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. You too. Yeah, okay. God. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. All right then. Okay, leaves, leaves, leaves. Woo. <laughs> okay, I love that interaction. That was great. All right, and one more thing I forgot. I'm forgetting things. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the church. Ah, uh, yes. I feel the holiness in this space. <laughs> Hello, mom. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen da daughter. <laughs> oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, n no one likes likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father, your father does too, mostly. But he attends and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. All right, bye, mom. Anything back here? Nope, still can't go back there. I will one day go back there. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Anyone inside the main church hall? Love, peace, joy. In silence, because no one's here. There's no silence. Okay, love, peace, joy, and silence. Oh, okay, that was a good night crack. Oh, that felt great. Oh. Mm. I love cracking my neck. <laughs> it's just, it's like a nice relief, especially like if you're feeling stiff, because I was feeling kind of stiff there. And cracking my neck felt very relieving. Oh, hello. Oh. I don't feel right about it. Oh, feel right about what? I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something. When folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Okay. Hot dog, yes, that, that, that is what he's thinking of. Hot dog, frustrated. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. I, I gotta order it from from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. W what are y'all talking about? A big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Oh. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Right, interesting. Okay, damn. So I guess it's to see if they want to help him out or not. Which they should. I think they should, but... Just saying. We Okay. <laughs> Even if I wanted to jump off, I can't jump off. All right, interesting. Let's go ahead and visit Greg, see what, see what he has. Actually, no, um, B, because we have band practice anyway. And I think meeting up with Greg is going to initiate the band practice. So we'll see B, and then we'll go to Greg. Hey, B, what's up? Hey, B. 
Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, re really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. It's still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's he's at the snack falcon. He's at the snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. <laughs> I mean, Greg is Greg. <laughs> what is up, Greg? How's it going? Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah, band practice time, baby. <laughs> if I remember how to do band practice. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yup. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. All right. Uh, what about you? Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. Eh. So, how about that demon tower? Yeah. What do you think? It's fun. It's hard. It's hard. I like all the skeletons, though. That's cool, but it's hard. That's what makes it good. Yeah, I guess. I mean, who doesn't like getting mad? I don't get mad. I just do my best and that's enough for me. See, I th thank you. I did my best with Demon Tower. That's enough for me. <laughs> really? No. Right, uh-huh. Ready to play? Yeah. Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. All right, Greg, let's go. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out on the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Greg, why would you want to pee off the side of the building? Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. R r r ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. All right, yeah, one, two, three, four. I got this. Pumpkin head guy, let's go. Hey, let's go. Ooh. Oh. Pumpkin head guy. <laughs> Woo! Pumpkin head guy. Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head guy. Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
pumpkin head guy! Sorry, I went full on competitive there. Holy shit! <laughs> weird my brain switched to competitive mode i was like wait <laughs> let me get all these notes real quick <laughs> oh god that was so weird I, okay the competitive side leaked out a little bit <laughs> pretty good <laughs> yeah that was okay not bad considering i don't know this song pumpkin head guy <laughs> Whew. so fast you just pushed a button. <laughs> I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. No, no, we're not okay. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we, we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why? Is that a dumb question? Yes, May. That is a dumb question. <laughs> you, you know, we could <laughs> go check out the library <laughs> for books about it. No, they have the, the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh, wow. I I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just, like, a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one. We, we actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a, a, a foundation and... That is going on deaf ears. <laughs> B. Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. look jobs <laughs> all right this looks like a good point to stop but okay sorry i had a stretch <laughs> that was a good stretch um but we experience a little bit of harfest and and we finally have some things going down I had a feeling something something was gonna go down at Harfest, and it did. Now we're trying to figure out who is this spooky ghost man <laughs> that took somebody um, at night during Harfest. So I'm in I'm interested to see what we'll find out as far as like information wise on this ghost ghost history in the town, or um, if maybe the ghostly figure could be like not one but maybe like an accumulation of people you know like like you know like how people like stack like a tower to make like a figure <laughs> it, it could be something like that it could be like actual like two or three people and not one um 
there is that that would explain how they're able to jump the fence with uh one person so there's that um that's my theory that it's multiple people that was like in like some frankenstein suit but uh we'll see we'll see i'm just excited to see what information what spooky information we're going to find out <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so 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 much for joining me on this episode hope you have a spooky day <laughs> And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Everything's fine. We just gotta find Gregory. Everything's fine. We just gotta find.